Alright, what's going on guys? Just in this moment right now, yeah, I've decided I'm gonna try to shoot a video. I mean, if it doesn't come out right, then I won't upload it, but uh, we're currently on a little road trip. Where are we heading? Yeah, yeah. It's a Valladolid first stop. Yep, we'll watch out here, yeah, lad. Don't even know which way to go to here sometimes. Yeah. So yeah, we're just gonna be traveling around every day. We don't even know what's on the cards for the next destination, but Yucatan's an interesting place. And if you didn't know, it's where a lot of the Mayans lived during their era, before the Spanish came and took them over. So it's an interesting place. There's a lot of nature. There's a lot of cenotes. There's thousands and thousands of cenotes. Um, it's just an interesting place. It's very safe and it's maybe somewhere you don't really see a lot of foreigners over the Merida we'll probably be in Merida in a few days where you know it's a bit more commercial there are over a million people in Merida but for now we're traveling around halfway there to Valladolid, Valladolid. yeah out on some nice open roads out here yeah so you're gonna it's pretty much like this all the way there from uh, what I can remember these roads here are a bit more tight and boarded up but just before Hopefully we'll see him in a minute. Yeah. Two laners, completely open, not another car inside. Ah, yeah. It's yeah, beautiful just... driving because you never get something like that in England. Right, just sitting on the side of the road. Right, guys, we are entering Valladolid, and that didn't take as long as we thought it was going to take. It was a very quick journey. Nice yeah. open roads. Put a foot down. You know when we left one? What time was it? What time is it now? Six? Yeah. Must have left it, I think we left it about half four. Yeah. What's the, uh, what's the population of Valladolid like? What do you know about this? I'll city? put it on screen now. Eh, I don't know much about it. I know that this place is known for like the best cenotes in Yucatan and known for, you know, Mayan culture. I know that it's safe and I know that there's another city in España called Valladolid. Yeah. Um, I need a one from FIFA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are they any good? I think it's just a mid-table La Liga team, so yeah. probably decent. But... Mm. Yeah, this is central. <clears throat> Traffic lights are pretty confusing in Mexico. <laughs> so stuff you didn't do now. No, the gym as well. <laughs> How convenient. Oh yeah, what are you looking for? So, brother. What are your first impressions? I'm impressed so far, the building, all the different colours. Yeah. It reminded me of a. Uh, you used to watch that show when you were a kid. What was it called? Uh, that one that was on TV. With all the, uh, with all the different colour houses. Ah, uh, what's the story? Balam Balamori. Balam 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 that's the one. Yeah. I mean, this with the sunset, beautiful light. Ah, it's incredible, isn't it? And we're about to hit Centro. Maybe got a little snack before hitting the gym. I need to charge this phone up, to be honest, and then uh, see what the night has to offer. Now, guys, we're gonna be road tripping with no real plan for the next week or so. It's gonna be, yeah, so like my next seven videos or something. I'm gonna be filming every day. Will be exciting. You know, this ain't no Cancun or Playa no more. This is stuff you'll never see or stuff you won't even imagine. And uh, this is only the start. Ah, uh, it's Boston, eh, bro. Yeah. It's boss hearing all the birds as well, isn't it? Yeah. Out here, man, just non stop. All you can hear is birds, and it's the same as Merida. And I've, as I said, I go through this gap, but to be here, bro, it's a very nice atmosphere. And there I see it, say it in a way, it's good to be surrounded so many people in Cancun and Playa, but in a way, like the atmosphere over here is a lot more what you want to be after, you know, for me. Únicamente para el 
So what you can see behind me is the cathedral here in the center of Valladolid. Valladolid? Amigo, hola, ¿qué tal? El nombre de la ciudad es Valladolid. Sí, eres de Valladolid. Valladolid. ¿Dónde? Guaymas. Guaymas. Bueno, bueno. Es bonito aquí. Sí. Alright guys, yeah, here in the center of Valladolid, it has a very tranquil feel to it. <laughs> you can hear the bears chirping. There's a lot of pe families here just enjoying the time and what else can I say? It feels extremely safe. Safe enough to wander around with a phone without a care in the world. And that's a lot of things, that's something you guys won't associate with coming to Mexico, right? Wrong. Uh, atmosphere bro, atmosphere is on point and tomorrow we'll hit up a little cenote because this place is not for having fantastic cenote now my phone's gonna die pick up some food and go to the gym and then we'll head back out and we gotta find the hotel as well yeah you know that Yeah, bro, there's like a lot of like Norwegians in the here, isn't it? It's mad. Oh my god! This is the authentic side of Mexico, bro. It's not all just beaches and bad bunny. <laughs> Right now guys, uh, as you can see, in Valladolid and Merida, you've got these seats there, and uh, if you're with your significant other, you can actually sit opposite each other, I see it a lot, uh, and it just, it's a nice place to chat, you know? Not bad, with, with the boys it's a bit of, bit of a strange it's, one. Yeah, it's a bit intense, bro. <laughs> you know, I just won't look you in the eyes, you know? Yeah, you just gotta be a bit shy yeah, on it. Fucking nice weather we're having, you know. Yeah. But if you're bringing a date here, though, I mean, yeah. ideal, really. Yeah. Like, grab, grab a little frappe or something, chili, uh, inexpensive as well, guys. Alright guys, we found a room and how much was the room for the? The room for this, 700 pesos a night, translates to around 25 pounds. Yeah, so 12 pounds, 50 each. Not bad. Not it's bad at all. all. We got our own fan, own toilet. Let's check the toilet out. Very decent. So if you come like to, if you try and get a deal like this for a month in a town like this, and it's a lot cheaper because it's less touristic. Although there's a lot of like um, people from around Germany here. I, I found that in Merida as well. It's quite strange why they pick here. But anyway, yeah, you can find a place like this for a good, for a good month for a very good price. I actually had a, I was quoted the price in Merida, bro, for 200 a month. 200 a pound a month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which, Imagine that because, like, you think about a regular, a regular city in England. Yeah. You're looking at probably minimum of 400, 500 a month. Yeah, minimum, bro. And, and after something like small, maybe not the best area. In fact, the, the girl I was with last night, she said she's with her brother, two bedroom. Mm -hmm. You pay about $100 a month. <sighs> that's that's nice. It's fucking local price, bro. So yeah, get some food, bro. Get some food. 
Time to get some protein in. I'm thinking, try to find some tuna or salmon. So like tuna that. sounds good, yeah. yeah. Tuna steak. Yeah. All right, guys, what's going on? We're heading out on the stage for some food. And there, uh, yeah, this is a nice little place for the price. We're not so far from the center of town, but it is quite late right now. What time is it, bro? It is 10 o'clock. So, our man's in the tank top tonight, yeah? Bro, it wasn't Jeez. my choice. Yeah, nah. to get the washing done tomorrow, so yeah, bro. The tank top was a last resort. Yeah. I think I've got uh, about three things left to wear before I've got nothing left. Yeah. Like these yeah. are the only shorts I've got right now. Got no underpants underneath because they all need washing. Yeah, uh, don't say that, lad. <laughs> Adam Sandler, do you? Yeah, no, yeah, calm, bro. Calm. I'm, I'm looking like I don't even know what this is. This is like. What size that, bro? It's not bad. I need to get more rings, though. Yeah, yeah. Ready to go. Standard. What do you fancy to eat with tonight, lad? Like I was saying earlier, I'm thinking something nice and eat protein. Maybe some salmon. Yeah. Maybe a bit of chicken breast, something like that. Yeah. Nice protein. So well, this uh, rooftop place earlier that looked real nice looking over the square, so. Yeah. Go down but, there and see if. Uh, uh, we'll have to see what the price is there, like, I can imagine that price. <laughs> All right, what are we saying, big man? Gonna try this rooftop? Trying a new little rooftop restaurant bar. Yeah. I'm dressed like Will out the in-betweeners when, he, when, he, when his mum gave him a tank top. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it should be good. Post yeah. that protein. So Will and Adam Sandler <laughs> on the home for some food. Right, we found a nice little rooftop overlooking the uh, main square here, overlooking the cathedral as well. I gotta take the music. Don't know how long it'll be, but. Right, guys, that is us for the night. What are your thoughts on Valladolid? It's an interesting little place. It's uh, I was just saying this. I was just saying this. It makes you feel like you've gone back in time. Mm. Uh, I feel like I'm walking through the 1970s right now. It's got a very quaint feeling. Yeah, no that's a very out. good point. And uh, yeah, the time is half eleven. So yeah, what quaint? That's a good word. Yeah. yeah. We're right by the centre, half eleven. Completely empty, dead silent. All the colors are nice, aren't they, man? So, yeah, that's where I'm gonna wrap up the video. Stay tuned because our next video will be visiting a cenote. I don't know what else we're gonna do, but there's a lot in this area, and uh, it's also the land of the Mayan people, so hopefully, we'll see some of that stuff. I'll uh, check in with you tomorrow and take care. Peace out.